yourself there. My Calibrock. What was he hoping to find there? Ah, he was always fascinated with the idea of other far-off lands. Calibrock was supposed to be the first of many stops on his so-called tour of Fiara. You know, it was actually his friend's idea to travel together. I doubt my boy would have gotten the notion to leave Windhome on his own. See what I can do. If you can find anything out, that would set my mind at ease. You were saying? I assume this is the fabled General Erev. Aye. Huh. Remind me, why do we trust him? Stones, we talked about this, didn't we? Aye. Before I learned that we're dealing with a war criminal here. Yes, General, I know about that mysterious night when you lost your entire division. How convenient that you remember nothing. Are you done? <laughs> Coward. Oh, for fuck's sake, Malik, drop it. These people aren't here because they want to be your drinking buddies. They're here because we need them and they need us. Now, please tell me you did more than just brood over the General's past when I was gone. Like, work out the plan, as you said you would. I'm guessing my sister has already briefed you on our objective. Break into the Windholm treasuries and steal money and weapons to build up your movement. Well said. Now, since trying to enter the castle through the main gates is akin to suicide, our men spent the past weeks looking for a side entrance, and they found it. Here. A map? Of the Windholm Catacombs Eye. Just follow the marked path, and it should take you right below the castle undercroft, where you'll find a buried tunnel. Clear the rubble, and presto, you're in. Questions? What do we do if we run into guards? Crack open a beer with them. What do you think? You take them out as fast as you can. Though it shouldn't come to that if we're careful enough. And if we succeed, you'll use the money to build up your troops and take care of Arrakis, right? Oh yes, we will. Also, my men and I will help you on your own mission while Malik prepares the coup, just as we agreed. Buried tunnel leading right into the Undercroft? That sounds almost too good to be true. Yeah, I thought the same. But apparently the architects were planning to extend the castle further down into the mountain years ago, but stopped. That tunnel is a leftover. You have enough men at your disposal, don't you? I still don't understand why you need us for this. I'm with you on that. So, maybe my sister should explain. Let me think. Because most of our men are just angry boys and girls who have never used their axes in actual battle. What we're about to do is dangerous, and we don't have the coin to afford mercenaries. Which, again, Malik, is the whole point of this. We need money to hire muscle, and weapons to equip them with. I'm all for your fiery speeches, but words alone won't bring down a tyrant. So here's your answer, General. You know how to fight, and according to your queen, you know how to lead. That's why you're here. Fair enough. And is there anything specific we should look for once we're inside? Money, gold, moon silver weapons. Don't bother with the rest. And maybe you'll be able to dig up some dirt on Arrakis. A scandal or something might help us to slow Arrakis's march to power. All right, we'll see what we can do. Just don't fuck up. Oh, and one more thing. 
My man saw an odd dwarf going in and out of the tunnels. I don't think he has anything to do with Arrakis. We haven't seen him in the moon, but maybe keep an eye out. An odd dwarf? Aye, a mud dweller by the looks of it. I'm guessing he lives down there. Who knows, maybe someone else who's like Arrakis' granite idiots destroyed. Understood. We'll speak later. We should move. so much. You're not part of the groups he targets, are you? And? And someone fighting for a cause that doesn't directly affect him is a rare sight. Fair point. Not sure if Rara told you this already, but we both grew up in the gutter. Now, life is never easy for the poor, but at least King Roar did something. There were food banks, shelters for the winter. Arrakis plans to abolish all that. Really? I never heard him speak out against the poor. Of course not. Because he needs the populace to stay in power. So he pours honey into their arses, plays the man of the people, makes them feel that they have a place in his granite bullshit narrative. I am poor, they say, but at least I'm a dwarf. Not a sissy, not a devi, not a, not a gravel eater. A real dwarf. What's his end game? What do you think? Power and riches. Did you think Arrakis got so far all by himself? No. He had all of Wyndham's nobility to back him up. They want an oligarchy. Aye. But we won't have it. Even if it's the last thing I do, I won't stand by and watch when vermin like Arrakis and the nobles undo all our people have achieved. And once we have them groveling at our feet, we make them pay for their crimes. Every single one of them. How did you become the leader of a rebellion? By not doing what 90% of people do when a monster like Arrakis rises to power. Standing by and watching. I meant, what did you do before the rebellion? Rara was a swashbuckler. How about you? Swashbuckler? Is that what she calls it? She always had a romantic streak. I was in the Bastion for a couple of years, but quit after I realized what a rotten bunch they really are. After that, mostly try to get by as a day laborer. Nothing glamorous. Why do you care so much about my past? <laughs> Let me think. Because my beloved sister has decided to put the fate of our rebellion into the hands of you and your queen. Rare is right. You could be a swineherd for all I care. As long as you bring the skills we need and get the job done. What are your plans for Windholm if the coup succeeds? When it succeeds. Windholm can't go back to the way it was. And we'll make sure it doesn't. Changes must be made. And it's up to the Prince to decide if he's going to be part of those changes or not. What kind of changes? Too many to cover. But first and foremost, we'll ensure that it won't be fat, power-hungry nobles who dictate our country's fate anymore rather than the people whose sweat, blood and tears have kept it going over all those centuries. The common folk. I'll be going. Suit yourself. What do we have here? Quite the character, your brother. <sighs> I know. Sorry for him going off on you. It's just... He's complicated. Huh. I honestly hope Iskram comes back from that Shaper site as soon as possible. He hasn't been to Windholm for decades, but he still considers it home. The Dwarven Circle Mage, right? Aye. You mentioned that before. He lost one of his relatives during the first Blackstone Rebellion, right? Something like that, yeah. Welcome back. Did you find any moon silver artifacts? I don't have time for them. Are... are you sure? All right then. A 
as though descending down the different layers of Earth. Every twist and turn of the tower's spiral staircase reveals a new facet of the dwarven city. First, the granite manors of the nobility, then the bustling cramped maze that is the craftsman district. Finally, the shattered houses of the mud dwellers. All right, these are the catacombs. Now we just need to find the entrance to the abandoned part. Do you think we'll need to deal with the undead? I don't think they'll be undead, but Malik said there's been a spider infestation down here. So, stay on your guard. Mm -hmm. Hi. Sounds like a plan. You can do this, Holdak. First step is the hardest. Damn it. There's someone down here. Hold on, General. Look at his clothes. He's not a guard. Try to keep up. Over here. This way. Huh? Oh, a surfacer. Dust and stones, I thought you were one of those granite sons. Wait, what are you doing down here? I could ask you the same thing. Me? It's a free city, I can go where I like. You, on the other hand, this is no place for a stroll. You, uh, you don't happen to be going further in, do you? None of your business. Right, right, because if you were... You'd be interested in my proposal. What kind of proposal? <laughs> I knew you'd be curious. Here's the deal. My family has a fortune stashed away in a tomb down here, and I need the money badly. But I'd be eaten alive before I could get to the tomb. So let me guess. You want us to help you. What would I get in return? I only need an heirloom that belonged to my grandmother. You can keep whatever else you find. What do you say? Who's to say I won't just take everything in this tomb? Well, I can't stop you there, but I have a good feeling about you. Besides, I already said you can have whatever else is in there. I just need the heirloom. Why do you need the money so badly? Ah, uh, you wouldn't be interested in that. Suffice it to say, the dwarf I once called my friend is a beardless bastard. I make one mistake and he tries to run me into the ground. So now I just need this money so I can get the stones out of here. Screw Windholm and it's damn politics. You have a deal. Splendid. The name's Huldak Stonebrow, by the way. Here's the key to the tomb. I'll wait for you back at my place on the eastern side of the city. Knee half, give you a look. What is it? Yes. Fresh candles. Hmm. Somebody is tending to that grave. With all that vermin around? Whoever it is, he or she has guts. Maybe it has something to do with the strange dwarf Malik was talking about. The one who goes in and out of these tunnels. Possible. Either way, he's not here. Let's focus on the mission for now. Sounds like a plan.
I'm listening. What do you need? What's that? Looks like a cobweb. Let's take a look. Hmm. Judging by the size, this belongs to a Blight Widow. No wonder nobody knows about these tunnels anymore. Blight Widow? Sounds lovely. Round about the size of a small barn, with poison potent enough to kill a troll. Nothing you'd want to spend a romantic evening with. Hmm. How do we get through the web? Brute force? Let's try. What is it? I'll catch up. Here we are. The abandoned crypts. Stay alert. Stay close. You got it. Wait, that's the wrong way. Shouldn't we at least see what's down there? Lots of blight widows and the bones of adventurers who said the exact same thing. Come on, let's stick to the map. Wrong way. Do you need me to spell it out for you? Hmm? Wrong way. Do you need me to spell it out for you? Wrong way. Do you need me to spell it out for you? We should move. Yes. here.
This is it. Lead on, then. It must be done. Nothing. Ouch. That's a bloody big web. Cut it down. Mm -hmm. Out of the way. to the Axshale family. Didn't he say his last name was Stonebro? Yeah, he did. Looks like our new friend has a lot of explaining to do. So, what's the plan? What do you need? Yes. What do you need? Make it good. Yes? Whatever it is, I'm sure it's not here to give us hugs and kisses. Prepare for a fight.
Attack! Balls. Now we know why they suspended their work in the tunnels. We... Wait, do you see that? In the spider's head. Yeah. Looks almost like some kind of jewel. Let me take a look. Hmm? I'm here. Oh. Interesting. Could that... What? Never mind. See that tunnel over there? According to our map, it should lead right into the Undercroft. It's buried. Aye. I hope you brought a shovel. Oh, that should do the trick. Now, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope the map is right. Hmm. hmm. What's this? What do we have here? Interesting. You got it. Stay close. Sure. Hmm. What's this? While Rera is quiet as you climb up the tunnel, the way her jaw flexes and her lips press into a white line speak a different language. You're not fooling yourself. Much depends on the success of this heist. No rebellion has been won without money and weapons. down with a feather. It worked. Make it good. I'm listening. sure this is the granite castle? Dead sure. What now? We need to find the keys to the treasury in the weapons chamber. Let's try the guard quarters first. Aye. Yes? Stones! Guards! it up. Try to keep up. This way. At once. Stones. 
so much for resolving this peacefully. Indeed. This place is crawling with guards. Well, what's that saying? When shit's raining down, don't stay and get soaked. Is that really a saying? No, but you get the idea. See what they have on them and then let's hurry. Go ahead. we need Rera? Hmm. No, it doesn't fit the description. Let's keep searching. Just give the word. This look like what we're after? Let me see. Why, that's it. The key to the weaponry. Seems we got lucky. Let's find ourselves some nice moon silver blades, shall we? Sealed letter. Looks official. Hmm. That's Arrakis's seal. Maybe the guy this chest belongs to was a courier. Come on, read it. Hmm. It's a kind of love letter. Addressed to Elavia. Elavia? That's an elven name. So, Arrakis is mingling with a surfacer. That's ironic. Ironic? No, General. That's pure gold. We'll make sure everybody learns about this. That should slow his advancement at least a little. 
Good work. Over here. You got it. Stay close. Out of the way. Keep it up. I just keep up. the one to the treasury. Do you see the engraving? Nihas crown. Then let's do what we came here for.
Is that the best you can do? Sure. That way? Sounds like a plan. Make it good. I need help over here. So, what's the plan? Your graves are gone. You got it. Yes. Sure. That's what I call a treasure. And yet, according to Arrakis, Windholm is on the brink of ruin. Good old bit of fear-mongering. Classic trick. All right. I think that's as much as we can carry. We still got some Moonsilver weapons waiting for us, though. Come on. What do we have here? Hmm. What's this? Sure. Got it. Here we go. How does the saying go? Hang them with their own rope. Let's grab what we can. Wow. That's exquisite. Hmm. Interesting. Good. That's enough. Come on. Let's get back to the... Nihav's hammer! Intruders! Call the overseer! This is gonna get cramped. We need to get back to the catacombs. We should move. I need help over here. I could use some healing. I could use some healing. Lead on then. They killed one of our heroes. More are coming by the minute. Faster. them all. Let's run! We shook them up. Either that or they're up to something. We should prepare for both scenarios. Let's get back to the entrance and keep our weapons ready. Yes. What do you need? 
Catch up. Just give the word. We should move. What do we have here? way, right? Sounds like a plan. I'll catch up. <sighs> Bloody waste of time. Spiders have probably eaten them already. An order's an order. Damn it. Hear that? Guards. Grim down there. I doubt we have a choice, do we, Rera? No. Let's slice it. Wait. Do you. Do you feel that? Feel what? That gem we collected from the Spider Queen. I think it's reacting to the web. Oh, stones! I. Of course! I know who that spider was. Who it was? A spider, right? More than that. We call her Varecca the Widow. There's a dwarven fairy tale about an earth shaper who went mad after the death of her husband and believed he had been reincarnated as a spider. She spent every hour in the tunnels and tried to become more and more like them. And, well... So you think that spider we fought was her? I don't know, but it'd fit. Either way, the good thing is, if that was Vareka, it means that the gem should allow us to control the spiders down here. Quick, General, put it on. Oh, that feels... odd. Aye, because part of the spider's consciousness has melded with your mind. See if you can manipulate the web somehow. Go on. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. It worked. Good. Now let's get down there before the granite idiots catch up. Attacking us. Told you. One last thing to worry about. Do you smell that? Fresh air. Aye. I think that way leads back into the main cavern. We got lucky. But... Hmm. Wait. What? With the gem, the spiders would probably help us if we get attacked. We could use this chance to do more damage to Arrakis's troops. All we have to do is stay here and wait for them to show up. Oh. 
All right, let's wait for them to show up. There he is, as a- General Arif. Just how did I know you were behind this? How come you're not running like you gravel eaters normally do? Because those gravel eaters are tired of running. You'll pay for your crimes, and Arrakis will follow right after you. <laughs> oh, the little flower has a temper. Well, I'd ask you to surrender, but that wound from Draycott still hurts like a bitch. So I'll just say you refuse to cooperate. Not that anyone would care. Kill the gravel eaters, men! What do you need? Watch for a dart! Then let's get out of here before they notice he's not coming back. Aye, at once. Hmm, what's this? The dwarves once maintained an underground empire that spanned from Wolfgar to Lar. Its massive cities connected by hundreds of miles of carefully hewn tunnels. Rera, what the hell happened? There were guards all over the city. It's been taken care of including Commander Rugram, the leader of the Granite Guard. Tell your men to get a cart. We've got plenty of loot. Huh. Not bad, little sister. Not bad. You there! Get a cart! Tell me what happened. Everything. Hmm. You're sure you didn't leave any witnesses? Well, we didn't single-handedly take on the entire bastion, but those who saw us are dealt with. Good. Well, General, I don't know what to say. Thank you, I guess. My sister was right. It was a good idea to have a seasoned soldier on that mission. Nothing to thank me for. Just make sure you put this money to good use. Arrakis needs to disappear. No need to remind me. I'll reach out to my contacts tonight so they can start hiring muscle. Until we've put together a solid army, we'll station our men in Greykeep. With the Queen's permission. When the time comes, we'll strike them with our full power. Until then, my men will help you out as promised.
What will you do in the meantime, Malik? Lay the groundwork, gather information, bribe the right people, and make sure nobody catches wind of our little plan before we set it into motion. Just be ready when the time comes. We will. Yes. We should move. What do you want? Just give the word. There are a lot of mercenary groups out there. Who are you planning to hire? Dwarves, mostly. For our coup, we need to be inconspicuous. And that's rather difficult if you're counting on a tribe of orcs to see it through. I know of a group of ex-Bastion soldiers who left Windhelm shortly after King Rorik's death. They might be just what we need. Perfect. Then let's head back to Greykeep and file a report. Good plan. Suit yourself. This way. Ah, my favorite surfacer. I see you made it out all right. Save it. Do you want to explain why someone named Holdark Stonebrow asked me to get his grandmother's heirloom from a tomb belonging to the Axhell family? Damn it. Fine. Let me explain. You're right. It belongs to Basic Axhell, a dwarf I once considered my best friend. But a best friend doesn't assume you betrayed him after one little mistake. He never even heard me out. Ever since then, he and his new granite buddies won't stop harassing me. They've plundered my home, beat me in the streets, so no, I don't have any remorse for that stone liquor. He always talked about his grandmother's heirloom and how he admired it as a child. If he wants betrayal, then by me have. I'll give him betrayal. Now hand it over so I can leave this place behind. You said he assumed you betrayed him. What did you do? It wasn't even anything, really. This lass had just broken up with him. I knew how much he cared about us, so I asked her to meet me and talk it out. See if there was anything he could do to get her back. Well, someone saw us sharing a point and some laughs and told Baz. He assumed that she and I had been a thing even when they were together. Nothing even happened. Did you ever tell him that? Ah, it wouldn't have mattered. The point is, he didn't hesitate a second to accuse me of stealing Arana. That's when I knew we were done. How can you just up and leave your home because of this? You don't know how miserable life can get when someone has it out for you. I have nothing keeping me here, so why not? I've always wanted to travel anyway. You owe it to your friendship to at least try to make him understand. You were his best friend too. What? There's no way I'm explaining myself to that stone liquor as if I have something to come clean about. And anyway, even if I wanted to, he's in so deep with that granite son's nonsense that there's no way I could even reach him. I'm not giving you the brooch. I won't be part of your petty little revenge. Ugh. Suit yourself, then. I'm in no position to dispute you, and Baz loses the heirloom anyway. But I hope you realize you already are involved. Won't be long before Baz finds out. Either way, 